Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a magical day and this week's day even more magical. This is the last time this season of Artists for Art that you won't be seeing my face because it's the only episodes that I post on YouTube, which I don't show my face. But yeah, um, today we're going to be discovering um, and I'll be talking about my experience once again of an old artist I've done before uh, and already finished on the channel but was picked to be the last one so I'm quite excited to be exploring her once again for a bit of like the last time so well not for the last time well on the channel I mean except if she comes out with new albums you get the point I'm not gonna be stopping it <laughs> okay so we're exploring Grace Van Der Poel today and I do have to say that this is one of my favorite pieces of the series because I loved how the background came together, first of all. I enjoyed so much putting all these fabrics together. It was picked to be a mixed media one and I thought since it's the last one, it's only fitting that I go full out with the background kind of fabrics and things. I always gave an example when I was talking about what kind of mixed media I mean. But I always did the, the multiple artwork kind of medium and not the many, many fabrics and then many, many papers and newspapers kind of like idea for a background. But now I did it and I love it. It looks gorgeous. Um, and I enjoyed so much bringing out the actual portrait of uh, Grace Van Der through uh, that uh, image, through that like kind of background surrounding her and bringing her with her out. In the end, I actually even left her like kind of blend in with it because it created so many nice textures on the skin and things. And I didn't really want to mess with it. It looked gorgeous, dead gorgeous, amazing. I loved it. You can tell it's one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to actually start talking a bit about her story and how she developed until now because I do see some of her performances and stuff until now and what she's been doing. Like, I've saw uh, some interviews of hers, um, but from the beginning, what I do remember is how crazy and unique she was. Her attitude growing up was so fun and cheerful. She didn't care about opinions. She made so many interviews and stuff and challenges, and she's not one of the people that's gonna be, like, ashamed of stuff they do. She's just gonna own it and be like a queen about it and that's one of the things that's just amazing and super cool about her, I think. Um, I absolutely love, um, first of all, her voice, how she started off with a ukulele and now she's gone through this beautiful transformation. Um, I do love the new haircut, it's so, so pretty and cute on her, it gives her such attitude. Short haircuts always just give the crazy cool attitude um and this was it seriously like so pretty like for the artwork i might have chosen a bit more of like a a different like longer haircut than she has now but it's just such an iconic haircut for me because she kind of started with that kind of height um but i also really really like the pose she has on that one it's just so fitting for the background and it just melted right in just blended in beautifully um, so she started off at such a young age, just like exposing herself to us and we were able to see her bloom and blossom so nicely. Like I loved her journey and her development, like her work and albums at the beginning and how she transformed and now is giving us so many like disco kind of like cheerful, really really vibey songs like moody in a way but also vibey and really really fun like her latest songs are just and music videos like how it has this kind of retro kind of vibe recording kind of feeling with many montages or that little like uh black and white like speaking thing that she doesn't actually talk it's just like written on the screen like the old days of movies that's just so so cute and i love it it's just a feature that only she could have thought of and I've seen it only from her. Like I've seen the red truck kind of filters and stuff from other people. She she chose like some things though that she did in the music videos that no one did before and it's working so well. It's super cool, so entertaining. 
it has a little freaking story that in the end you could think about or you couldn't and it still doesn't really uh, disrupt the song and the story and the music video which I love, it's really really good. Um, and I'm just really here just enjoying and I'm excited to see how she continues because she's not just an amazing singer, she's also amazing in her character as I said before, her attitude. Um, and I'm just really really happy that I got to draw her and she is my final one. I'm not making another one at all, which is crazy. Oh my god, and for you guys to pick her as the last one is actually quite special because she's one of the old ones. She's one of the of the old one uh, artists that I've started along with Grace um, Kama and Angelina Jordan. They were my two girls that were like some of the earliest I've started. Angelina is also coming to an end pretty soon in like a few months because that's about as the material that I was given and I do want to continue with new artists after her uh, in her day uh, or videos uh, but for Grace like I'm excited to see what she brings out I might not be checking it out directly from commentaries but she has such a beautiful like development and just so fun and cheerful as a person like sometimes and it just like gives her character and value to the like her whole like songs as well like i'm excited to see with her new personality and the song that she gave us uh which was just a little peek of what she can do like what kind of like songs meanings messages is she gonna like bring out um i'm just quite hyped to see also if she's going to like explore new genres or what she chooses to do it's always gonna be really really kind of a shock with her i feel like just like her transformation and the and what i also need to appreciate and we all need to do is i know some people maybe didn't like her transformation or like we're like oh no she's just like a whole different person like she's being fake faking or like whatever but that's not true like people change people go through different things in their story and their life i made I made it a story it's a narrative well we are we are are actually we're the main leads in our story in a way um but everyone does it and we went, we might not realize it but we do and some people just change more than others and it's a thing that's actually for her it's actually for like a really good like development like i like the new her it's not like she completely destroyed the old her it's still there and i actually see pics of it from these music videos it's not like not foundable uh not found foundable what <laughs> But like still, even if you think that it isn't, like you can't see the old grace, like I see it in the development and everything. And I could see like the new one just popping out a bit here and there in her interviews. Maybe not in the music, I get it, but I see it now in the music and I love it. It works so well. And the first time I checked out her new songs, which really really featured her the new her i really really enjoyed it like i saw a girl just really really bringing out her character into the song her new like found loves and discoveries attitudes and things she wants to show to the world and share with her fans and i just really really hope a lot of people just like go with her on this beautiful discovery um, because she's still young and she's still gonna change even more. I want to see in the end um, How far can she go because she can go truly far and I'm just super super excited to see it um, In the end this is um, the last episode of artists become art and I want to kind of start crying But I'm not okay. I'm not I'm not going to oh, I feel so so bad. That this is the last one. What the heck? Oh, I'm, I'm actually really, really wondering um, if Grace will see it and what she thinks of the artwork. I would like to get the feedback if she can anywhere, anywhere, anytime. I, I would love to see feedback from her. I am super, super excited though to see also in the future in general. Am I ever like in next summer going to be doing an art series again? Like 
I would love to. I would actually love to continue it and make like an autumn series, a friend suggested my bestie, or like a winter series. But sadly, we have school and I can't do that, like at all. I'm not allowed to. It's school, it's the last year in like high school vibes and some really important papers going to be given and I just can't do it. So I'm just excited to see how this will go. Just know you guys that you can get Grace's digital print or actual delivered print uh, from a website. I will be putting the links down below if you're interested in getting it. Um, I wouldn't mind if you guys also contacted me through my email or an Instagram uh, about me making you guys something uh, like this uh, for you personally. I uh, would love it, like commissions and stuff. Uh, definitely don't even second think that I would or wouldn't. I would do it. We just need to adjust the time because of like the struggles and stuff that I'm gonna have at school. <laughs> I love school, don't worry. Not a pain. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this journey that we've had with all these different artists on my channel. I feel like it was so special because I've already discovered them. And I'm just super, super excited to see what the future holds of this channel. Um, I'm hoping to do more art soon when I get the chance and maybe like enhance the experience to be more focused on art as well as the uh, commentaries like compared like both of them on the same level of like attention because I would love that and I already have some ideas but you have to wait until school's done which means until summer begins again but you have something to hope for which makes it a really interesting time and a little thing for you to think about so I'll see you guys next time in my next uh, commentary and not art video for now but bye bye